Most FPS games I've experienced have been somewhat the same. There are different genres within the first person shooter genre itself. For example, there are movement shooters. This so happens to be the topic of the video. Have you ever heard of a little game called Titanfall? Wait. Ew, not the first game. Have you heard of a little game called Titanfall 2? Probably not is the answer. At least before it was put on Steam, but uh, don't, don't, don't think about that. It Please. This game was overshadowed by the release of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, along with Battlefield 1. This is especially sad when you account for how terrible these games are. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is considered to be just about the worst game in the series, and Battlefield 1 is hardly relevant anymore. Sure, it had a couple Vanoss gaming vids, Get him in the butt, in the butt. but that guy's the Zodiac Killer. It was very unfortunate that Titanfall 2 was practically killed by these games that could hardly hold a torch to bean battles. I recently bought Titanfall 2 on Steam. Initially, it wasn't on Steam and was only on the Origin launcher. Technically, you still have to go through the origin launcher anyways, but we gamers don't like to talk about that. That's what the cult is for. I spent a couple days with Titanfall 2, and I'd like to talk about why it's the best movement shooter to date, and why it could even be the best FPS in general. So before we get into gameplay, I'd like to talk about some game modes. We've got a campaign, and guess what? It's actually good. Okay, 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 jeez guys, <laughs> let me get to my act. <laughs> I would have liked to record some gameplay from it, but unfortunately I am back to school and struggling again. So due to time restraints, laziness, and all of the above, I will not be going over this classic. But just take my word for it, I have played through it on my PS4 about 3 years ago and it is at least a solid 8 out of 10. To clarify. Along with the campaign, there's online play, obviously. And if I could explain it in one word... Easy. Because this game is so goddamn good, there had always been a small group of people just marinating in testosterone, training their boners to the absolute breaking point. Meaning that when you join, there's pretty much always going to be some guy with the force of God on his side killing you left and right. It's going to take some time getting used to, and a lot of training, but you will eventually be on par with these people. Not me though. The gameplay is a little like Infinite Warfare in the way that there's wall running. Unlike Infinite Warfare, this game is actually good. There's an arsenal of tools at your disposal. My personal favorite is the grappling hook. Now if you didn't know, the people that made this game are behind Apex Legends, so they also made Pathfinder. Grappling hooks are among the most satisfying mechanics in video games, if they are done right. And let me tell you, in this game, they are done right. Pathfinder's grappling hook feels different, to say the least. To get anywhere, you have to learn legions of tech just to be proficient. Sure, in Titanfall it's the same way, but at least I could feel like a fucking badass and get some kills. Let me live, goddammit. Being able to wall run, double jump, and grapple is like being the ultimate badass. All of these skills can connect in a way that feels organic and really puts any other movement shooter to shame. Not that I care to research any other movement shooters. So we've pretty much gone over the movement, so let's talk about the gunplay. It's good. It's really, really good. Usually in FPS games, you have six degrees of freedom in ADS. The same applies here, but how often are you 50 feet in the air shooting down at your enemies in other FPS games? 10 times, maybe. 11? Sure. 12? Possibly. 13? Highly possible. 14 even. You know, it, it, it could happen. This is a common occurrence in Titanfall 2, and boy do I wet myself every time I take someone out like this. In this game, you can slide and shoot at the same time, leading to some wacky encounters and ultimately giving more options to the players. You can also shoot midair and on walls. The guns themselves feel sort of like what you'd find in Halo, futuristic and heavy. Along with the arsenal of badassery that is the gun selection, there are special moves, whatever you want to call them. Press Q to do a multitude of things. I like to use the flame star or whatever it's called. It allows for another layer of depth onto this already deep game. Your melee attacks are surprisingly effective and can be used mid grapple hook, allowing for crazy grapple fights. That pretty much covers everything. This game is amazing, so I guess I'll just end the video here. Have a good day. Now, I wish I could prove my worth by showing some super sick plays, but really, I just bought this game and I'm trying to make an ill informed, I mean, very well researched video with very much, I mean, a lot of experience. <laughs> please, God, stay. Just please. Titans are a huge part of the game, hence the name. They are terrifying in-game, and as a pilot, you are basically to avoid at all costs. Pilots are the name of the players, obviously. You can go on the backs of the enemy titans and take their batteries, but honestly, it's never really all too worth it. The best protocol is to get your very own titan. There are many to choose from, but for me, I always choose the sword guy. Funny story, when I was a kid, I used nerf swords and nerf gun fights, so... 
Yeah. Anyway, there are a bunch of different Titans at your disposal, and each one plays entirely different. Now, that being said, I have never used a different one other than the sword guy. This is because I honestly prefer to not use Titans when I play this game. I don't know why, but the movement feels so amazing, I just never want to sink back into clunky. It may just be me, but I rarely call down my Titan. You can call me a team player. Thank you very much. Anyway, there are a ton of different game modes along with this game. The only playable one is Attrition. Playable as in people only play this mode. And that's not a bad thing, it is amazing. Attrition puts bots and players alike in this game mode, and you play for points. Whoever reaches the limit first wins. There's also an epilogue, but it really serves no purpose other than just being a fun time. It's a great mode because bad players like me can just run around the map and still be able to kill bots for points and be a nothing teammate. And insane players can ignore them and just go for other pilots. It's a win-win situation. So this game is just a good time. Smooth movement plus great gunplay equals a great time. I really couldn't shit on this game if I tried, therefore it's hugely biased. But I mean, you did click on this video, so just buy the game. If you like games that encourage movement, you'll love it. If you hate movement, then don't buy it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, peace, peace and love. Peace out. Peace. Peace.